Last week, in the depths of the internet, I read a comment. The comment suggested that the TBS should adopt the Express LRS because Express LRS is such a great product. And by the way, yes, it is. And it's a great idea for the users to start using TBS hardware with the Express LRS software. Yes, I know it's a trollish comment, but there is something to it. Should TBS adopt the Express LRS? And the short answer to this question is, well, no. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it will absolutely never happen because the TBS is independent company and can do whatever it wants, but there are very little good arguments of doing so and the arguments that actually are backed by the business, which the TBS as a company is. And as the business, the TBS wants to make money by selling us the best possible products. The argument to adapt the Express LRS by the the TBS is the fact that yes, the Express LRS is a good product and nowadays it's very popular. However, this is as far as I can see the only argument of doing so. Like I already mentioned before, the TBS is a business and as a business, TBS wants to maximize its profit by increasing the income and lowering the costs. Yes, the in-house development of own firmware for both Crossfire is Tracer is a cost. And it's kind of big cost because developers are not cheap nowadays, but there are a few very good arguments that doing so in-house like they are doing right now is actually a very good idea. A. By developing both the hardware and the software part of the product, you held the whole product as an ecosystem. You get everything. You have control over the software part of the product. You have control over the hardware part of the product. And as the result, you can sell your customer a whole package. And if you want to, you can even extend this package with the receiver's transmitter, everything that the Crossfire and Tracer and Tracer ecosystem right now gives to its customers, to its users. B, it's the extension of the previous argument. You are in the full control of the product. If you would give out the part of this control to someone else, you are no longer really controlling the whole product. Yes, the TBS would retain the control over its hardware, but would have very little to say about how the firmware is really developing, what's happening over there, and how it can influence the next parts the software development should go and comparing how important hardware and software is you might even say that the software part is slightly more important than the hardware part see if you develop both the software and the hardware it's much simpler to get certified you can get the CE or the FCC stamp of approval to be able to sell without much problems your product not only the hardware both in the United States and the Europe next one of the reasons that TBS is popular is because they are special special and unique. If you get a TBS product, you get a TBS product. You get almost like a premium in the FPV world and you can brag about this. And this, by the way, is really a quite an important selling factor for the TBS product. You buy the TBS for the TBS quality. If you would replace your own software part with Express LRS, you are losing a huge chunk of this factor. Instead of being special, you become just another Express LRS compatible hardware. And what's so cool and fun about that? And finally, there is very little gain for the user of replacing the Crossfire and Tracer firmware with Express LRS. And at the end of the day, what is the real gain of replacing the Crossfire and Tracer firmware with the Express LRS? What you, as the final user, will really get? What's the gain for you? What's so amazing, comparing to what Crossfire and Tracer offers, if you replace it with Express LRS? To be honest, I cannot really find uh, any good practical reason to do so. I'm Paweł Spechalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!